What's up, guys? The 43 Podcast is back. We had a fucking amazing guest with us this week. What did we talk about, Amir? Man, we talked about life, stand-up, people bringing perfumes to nightclubs, people bringing toothbrushes on their nights out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of good shit. Inspiration. I know how he's a movie director, so like how that process is for him. A lot of inspiration. A lot of uh, a lot of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yeah, a lot of soulful talk in general. Guys, it's no uh, none other than Gustavo. Woo! <laughs> I'm on a highway to pod. Then a highway to pod. This is the 43 pod. pod. <laughs> the 43 pod. Nice. We'll, we'll work highway on it. Hell. Very good. <laughs> ACDC, I ACDC, believe. ACDC, yes. It was requested in the YouTube comments, so there you go. I, I thought that comment was more like, can you actually yeah, like an actu- actually make a cover of it? Yeah, but this was easier. This interpretation. Yeah, but that's your but that's your funeral song. Yeah, I, I was gonna comment. I'm saving it for the funeral. Yeah. Highway to hell. <laughs> but how will you, yeah? You need to record a cover of it before you die. Exactly. So make so sure that, you get on that. Yes, we need. Well, we need to. We need to get on that. Um, let's just jump right into it because it's a special episode. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. I'm jump. not sitting where I usually sit. No, and I am. And you are, which means. Which means that Which means somebody, in, somebody in the we middle We need to here. put somebody here, right? Uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I have just a guy for that. Tell me who. Because today's guest is a is a friend of... I wrote mine, but now it's ours. Because That's you, true. Well, I yeah. feel like we're friends now. Yeah. yeah. We met at Creative Skating Coffee. He came in and had this main character energy. And I had to get to know the guy. He's a, he's a writer, a film director. He does stand-up. And he wow. came to Sweden all the way from Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen... It's Gustavo. <laughs> What's up? Welcome, Gustavo. Welcome, Gustavo. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. And thank you for the uh, for the introduction, bro. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Was that was that a good description of you? It was, but I think you forgot to say, like, you know, just about how I am in terms of like. No, it was a good The bedroom. You know? <laughs> it was a good show. Yeah, yeah. You forget yeah. how I was in the yeah, bedroom. Yeah, yeah. He was actually yeah. looking at me so fucking serious. Like, I was so like, did I offend yeah, him? Did, did I, I forget some? something? No. Shit. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. Get I won't touch this no more. Yeah, you didn't really mention the cre- the creative side of of uh, Gustavo. You know, what were you... Uh, I guess you want to get to that. You have some. You have a list of questions I, for I us. wrote down some questions. So we're, g- we're going to get into it. We're going to get yeah. into it. Right, um, cool. yeah, but there's a reason you're here. There's a reason why I'm here. Yeah. To talk. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's a reason. Like, you're not a random guy on the street who's like, that you just talked to. <laughs> <who's like, laughs> <found outside. laughs> they just said, "What's up, to you? Yeah, I'm not. we met outside that's, that's on the street five yeah, minutes yeah, ago. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. No, we wanted. Uh, I don't know. Like Richard and I were talking last week about like how we could spice up the podcast, mm. and we're not entirely sure quite how. But one idea was to maybe talk to some people who we found interesting in our in our network. Okay. So people who, who are trying to do something that we find cool and, or inspiring mm. and just kind of talk to to these people and uh, and see what's up. It's and a, I am one of those people. And you're one of those people. Wow, you're man. the first. You're the first. Fist bump. Let's go, dog. Course, let's man. go. Let's go. Um, but anyway, like, obviously people don't know you, but I, I describe you as a writer, film director, and stand-up comedian, too. How mm. would you, how would you uh, describe yourself? What do you do? <clears throat> I'll take uh, the stand up, um, uh, com- like, what would you say? Stand up. Yeah. Stand up where? Yeah. Stand up comedian. Okay. Uh, I'll take but it. But do you do stand up comedy? <laughs> I do. I do. But I do as it's more like as a hobby, you know? It's not something that like. Yeah, it's not like a full time. No, full time. I think it's writing, you know, my movies. But um, stand up, it's just more as a, like, I get out there to just be uncomfortable. Uh huh. And um, I can't know, think of a better way. Honestly. That's the best way to, yeah. to call it the best way to so just to kind of like uh, yeah. humble yourself because sometimes uh-huh. I feel like life it seems to be too easy, you know. So I got to do something extreme, such as like a stand up, because that's the only thing happens to you nowadays. Kind of like gives me the feeling of like I'm feeling a little bit weird when I'm yeah. scared. What am know? I doing? Uh-huh. Yeah, you know. And then also like I feel like. It's just, it's a definition of who I am, you know? I've been always, since I was like a kid, just like making people laugh, you know? 
Mm. It was just me, you know, with my grandmother and my grand grandfather, you know, in the living room, and I was just doing fucking moves, you know, like yeah, showing them some of my butt and shit, you know, like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <make them> laugh. <laughs> of course, <It's>, you know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just me as a kid, and then like you know, I love making people laugh, you know. So, um, but my thing is movies. Where yeah. I also tap into some of my, I guess it's a mixture of stand up there because I can also write, you know, things I find it's funny and mm-hmm. things like that, you know. Yeah. So, so yeah, it is pretty much like a good, I would say, description of who I am. Besides the bedroom, I got most of, most of the things. The bedroom? How you are in the bedroom, I forgot to describe Oh, yeah. That, nah, I'm old school, dog. You know what it <laughs> is. You know what I mean? I'm fucking. Yeah. Yeah, but you but oh, you okay. but you strike me as the kind of guy because Richard and I have played music on stage and like, but but going up and doing stand up, mm. I I don't think I could do it. Mm. Do you think no, you absolutely could? not. No, <laughs> right? Not even you, Richard. No, I would never. Really? That's no. that, that's what do you think? It's scary about her. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's 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 something that you uh, dedicate time to. It's not like like music can be very, like, subjective, mm. a very like. If, if it's bad, it's bad, but maybe someone likes it and it's like, it, or maybe it's not for you. But if you go up on a stand up, like, like, like open, open mic and you're like, because humor can kind of be objectively funny. Like, that's why. No, that's a very fair point. I never thought about that. It, 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 it mm. can be. It is very subjective. Like yeah. some people have very unique senses of humor. Yeah. But like, it, but you go up there with the intention to make someone laugh. And if you go up there and no one's laughing, it's like. Yeah, that's oh, uh, yeah. because if if you go up as a band, at least you can share that burden together. Uh-huh. Yeah, that too as well. You're solo. Yeah, yes. but y'all like fuck. We sucked, but uh-huh. like you know, we together. We sucked together suck. at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you go out there, well. you have to cry yourself to yeah. sleep that you night. Know? And it's Alone. also it's also like the the best uh, feedback you could possibly get is from a stand up audience because like here here's the thing here's the punchline. Yeah. No laugh. Oh, it was bad. Whereas, like, in, if you're playing a song for three minutes, everyone has to be quiet. Yeah. And at the end, they clap. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, like even they, if it's shit, people clap. Uh, yeah, of course. I don't really? think anyone would like play a That's song and then like no yeah. one claps. It's like okay. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't for me, man. Thank oh, you. Oh, I see what you mean. That's not like the because yeah, I know what you mean. It's like, a courtesy clap. At, l- yeah. at the very least, courtesy. Mm, clap. Yeah, 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 definitely. I think in stand up you have that too, even though you suck. Nah, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but when when I when I saw you, it was one of I those nights. Me. You came to see me. Yeah, yeah, it was one of those nights where, I don't know if it's random people, but people who aren't necessarily established comedians, they could go up on stage and do yeah. like five minutes. It was like open mic, mic, yeah. open yeah. mic. Yeah, and everybody like you you were funny, but there were some people <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who bombed. But that was also funny in a different way. Yeah, but but watching someone bomb in real life must be quite the experience. Yeah, yeah. I was sitting in the back, and some people. Like, I mean, bless them for trying, but some yeah. course, some people uh, just they they would tell jokes and nobody would laugh, yeah. um, except for me because I find it funny. <laughs> but but people would still clap at at least at the end of the show, well, uh, yeah, which was nice. It was bad for me, you know, who was just going up next, you know, and like seeing <laughs> yeah. the guy just like saying jokes and you know, people just going like. Uh-huh. You know, so yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that's, that's, that's all you got, bro. That hurts yeah. a lot. <laughs> you know, yeah. So, um, definitely. You have to be very like cultural like, as well, I think, to be able to do stand up. Very yeah. cultural. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, you have to understand people. Like, you can't go into a room and then, and then uh, assume that everybody is one way. Mm. You know, you have to be a little bit smarter than that. Like, okay. Mm-hmm. You have oh, to, that you is... have to understand that there's a lot of yeah. different senses of humor and like, yeah, and. uh yeah that people are from different places yeah like like in in sweden i i guess it's not such a big scene but if you go to like la for instance that that's that's a big scene mm. big and here scene. i think like people aren't used to going to stand-up sh- comedy shows so mm. they go there not like knowing what to, to do or what oh, to expect. oh yeah 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 that's that's, al- they're also swedish you know so like yeah yeah they have to be a little bit awkward yeah yeah because you played around a little bit with that when you went up on uh, stage yeah. like the awkwardness of swedes like you were, you were, you were going up there and talking about like sex and stuff and like. Yeah, and that was just like <laughs> you know because for me that's what's so weird here because I feel like Sweden it's very open like talking about sex and stuff but as soon as you kind of like say it, 
Mm-hmm. Like people go like, okay. that, That's true. That's true. You know, yeah, it's like it's everyone true. just have very open and mm-hmm. like you know, sex is like you know, people might, but like mm-hmm. they, I think they, how you say it, or maybe because they heard from a Latino, they were like, "Fuck," <laughs> <laughs> just feels different now. This yeah. motherfucker saying it like that. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Why but it's sexier like, when you're from when you're from like South America. Uh, you know what I mean? I yeah. just think that we approach it different, bro. That like sweets <laughs> can't handle, bro. The yeah. way that we say like you know, uh, can we curse here? Of yeah, course. Yeah. Do you guys curse or you guys hold it back a lot? I mean, no, no, no. I mean don't say, like, the N-word. Oh, Jesus. Why would I say the N-word for? Like, I'm oh, a yeah. Latino, just, but I'm not that Latino, the, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, <laughs> that, that's, like, the worst <laughs> curse word you could say, I think. Yeah. 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 Other than that, it's all good. Yeah. No, bro, the, the N-word, over. like, you know, I, dude, it's, weird. it's interesting saying that because, I like, a lot of people don't know about that, but, like, the N-word in Portuguese actually means uh, Elskling. Really? Uh, like, wait, a Swedish Elskling? Yeah. Like, what's El? What was the word? Like, you love. Say? Like, it means yeah, like uh, love. love. Yeah. You know, in Portuguese. And uh-huh. that's what, like, you know, mm. people sometimes, like, in Brazil, like, it's just it's just different, bro. Like, how we use the N word. We're just like, you uh-huh. know, hey, N word. And it was like, oh, thank you. you <laughs> okay, like, you have your own way uh-huh. of doing it. Yeah. yeah like, it literally means, like, uh, darling, you know, like, mm. my dad throws the N word around, you know, um, <laughs> like, my, <laughs> all the time. All the time. <laughs> yeah. My dad's, like, half, you know, like, he's yeah, half, um, uh-huh. half white and half, like, um, uh, fucking. I don't know, black or something. He has, he's weird. You know, like, he's, uh, <laughs> he has some in, in him. Yeah. So yeah. I think, like, he's also allowed to say it. So I yeah. don't know. But what yeah. is it you talk about when you go on stage? Um, uh, like, when I talk with my dad? What are you talking about? No, when you go on, uh, like, to an open mic. Ah, to open mic. Or something uh, like that. Like, what is it? What is it? Because you have to talk about, uh, or you have to talk or make jokes about something that you, that you like, at least, yeah. right? Or, like, is that how, do you feel like that? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I like, but it's funny because you said about like the culture, so you gotta approach it like that too. You mm-hmm. know, like you're not gonna come here to Sweden and tell like my experiences of getting, you know, shot in Brazil. That people are like, oh, that's sad. You know, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you gotta talk about like sad. you know how weird Swedes are. You know how uh-huh. uncomfortable they are of uh-huh. like you approaching them mm-hmm. and being Latino, for example. You yeah. know, like that's yeah. they, they were like, oh, yeah, I, I can relate to that. Yeah. So you gotta approach it like that. You know, like find like a common ground, mm-hmm. like what you said. Yeah. Because you can't be. Just, you know, I'm talking about the stuff that I like. They'll be like, well, we, I, I, you know, yeah, you've got to yeah. find like a common ground, I guess. Yeah, you know? definitely. And it's funny because people, because Swedish people do find that funny. Yeah, that, we, well, we, we people like people having people uh, mess, me, mess with us. A little ah, bit. Yeah. you mess with you guys, yeah. okay. And like, like talking about how awkward Swedish people are. Yeah, because yeah. we agree that we are. So yeah, it's, it's like, oh, fun. yeah, we did. We yeah. did do that. Yeah. We are quiet yeah. in the bedroom, yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> what is the weirdest thing that you think like sweet? Because you guys, you guys consider yourselves Swedes. Yeah, I don't. You do. Uh, I, I guess don't. I do. I guess I do. You in, do. In, yeah. in our own, we have our own definition, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What is the weirdest, like, Swedish thing that you guys are going like, oh my God, this is so Swedish? Uh, like, man. the Swiss, it's just like, you see it, you go abroad and then you say, oh mm-hmm. my God, this, this fucking guy is yeah. Swedish. Not dating Asian guys. <laughs> what? Kidding, feels very, kidding. feels very personal. <laughs> it's very fucking personal. Uh, it's almost like, yeah. no. damn. The most weird, the most Swedish thing. I mean, the most Swedish thing is probably like, uh, like, be, being a little bit of, afraid to talk to random people. And then like, yeah, yeah I, I feel like my experience with talking to random people is like, you know, almost like deer in the headlights type of situation. Mm. Where they're deer like, in the headlights? Deer in the headlights. Ah, uh, deer in the headlights. Uh, mm. uh, basically, like, you go up to them and like, like hey, or something like that. And then they're like, like oh, hey. Or like, oh. a, bit, a little bit like shocked or scared. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. don't hurt me. No, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. they're like, oh, what, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay, chill, man. Yeah, I'm just saying yeah. hi, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I would agree. I mean, that's what we're most famous for, for being a bit antisocial, mm-hmm. I think. I, at least or a bit closed off but but for instance we were talking about uh, off the camera like yeah i was asking how do you meet all these people these random people yeah. and you say that you just say what's up to people on the subway or whatever on the streets mm. um so i guess swedes are willing to talk but nobody takes the initiative i feel like that's something that's typical of swedish culture yeah like you don't really mm. take the initiative in anything really but I mean, you guys are still pretty like. I don't want. That's use... very harsh. Dude. Yeah, but, but no, 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 no. But, but I mean, like, nice, it's, it's also... your. I mean, it's your uh, subjective kind of like point. Yeah. But like for me, it's like. And I see what you mean because this morning I was talking to a guy and then like the guy was so concerned talking to me. 
Yeah. He was like constantly looking around. I was like, is this okay? Like, there must be a point. There must be a point to why you came up. Yeah, yeah it can't yeah. just exactly. Yeah. It can't just yeah. be that you're friendly and saying hi. Yeah. Yeah. But this yeah. guy was genuinely like looking for other people. It's like, is this mm. like you know, <laughs> is this a prank? Or yeah. Something? Are like, the cameras. He came say hi to me. Yeah. You know, like, and that's I feel like it's a bit. Um, it's just sad, man, you know, because, hmm. like, I feel like in Brazil, you know, we have all f- like, fucked up ways of, like, in, like, any other country, right? With, like, people have their own mentalities and so on. But, like, I feel like there, it's just, like, people definitely, hmm. like, kind of come out to you. It's, like, or just just genuinely not knowing you and just throw, like, the most fucked up shit that will make you laugh or that, mm. you know? Yeah. So, for me, it's, like, I don't know. It doesn't harm people. Hmm. Why, you know? Me coming up and just, you know, um, joking with, like, uh, straight up when I saw him. I was like, oh, but how are you doing today? And then we, you know, that yeah. didn't, yeah. doesn't feel like we somehow was like, whoa, mm-hmm. my space. Like, we're talking about, whoa, mm-hmm. dude. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so, like, I don't know. Just go out there and just, you know, spread the love, you know, because we need more of that, I feel. Yeah, Especially yeah. right now that we're just so alienated. Is that a word? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, with the phones and stuff. Mm. So, if mm-hmm. I see someone with the headphones, I'm almost like taking the headphones out and be like hey what's up dog <laughs> yeah. yeah what's yeah. in your mind you know yeah i i would be i would be pissed if someone removed my head <laughs> <laughs> that's fair <laughs> sitting on the subway that's fair. yeah yeah but that'd be funny though <laughs> that would, that would, it would be it would be, yeah. funny. It would be funny but but it, wh- why is it like why do you feel that need to do that because it feels to me like we were all talking off camera about like and it, my impression is that you do that a lot why is it you like like that go up to random people and like hey what's up and like try to establish mm. a connection? Mm. Um, it's it's interesting that I say you do a lot because like today I did maybe two three times. Would you yeah, say yeah, that which a is, lot? Which is more than I've done because it's in the morning. Year. It's all it's only like ten. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So. Yeah, but like it took me just think about it. Like you literally talked to three people and then it took me like forty minutes to get here. Uh-huh. So in forty minutes you talk to three people and then you think that's a lot for me. That's like. That's nothing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you. So w- what is a good number of random people to talk to? Like it would you? be in, uh, for me. It's like would be because sometimes I do stop myself because oh. I. It's like I don't know if it's energy or something like you know, but um, I think would say like not stopping myself would be a good amount, and I think oh. it would be you know mm. a good amount of people. Nice. No, if I didn't stop myself from talking to people, uh-huh. that can you be know? a lot. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And uh, you had another question. What was the other one? And what what's the calling of going up to someone? Yeah. What is it? Why them? Why do you feel that need to do that? Um, people fascinate me, and if I were to stop every time to talk to every single one of them, I would hear stories mm. completely different from each other story that I've ever fucking you know heard in my life. Yeah. Everyone has such a unique perspective in life and mm-hmm. experiences and that's just like you know as a as a guy who likes to tell stories and write stories mm-hmm. it's not because i want you to like have a you know it's just it's just you know interest me mm-hmm. you know like that's why i'm like oh what, what's in, what's in your mind today genuinely mm-hmm. like right now what's in your mind now right now right now probably yeah. what what we're going to talk about next <laughs> why because i would love to not have a awkward podcast which i don't think this is i think mm. we're, we're, i think this is very fun mm. but i'm also i'm also just taking in information that you're saying so yeah. that i can ask you something next yeah. yeah so you that's good you're doing your job yeah, yeah. so you're concerned about how this is going to turns out right uh-huh. is that because you think like i'm uh, actually not concerned because i uh, know that it's going well okay. yeah but why 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 is that a concern because I want to produce something that actually, that actually people can find entertaining. Mm. So the main goal for you is just like find the entertainment to convey to give to other people, right? Uh-huh. Mm. Mm. I could go on forever asking I, I you see, questions. I see how you, I see so how you get to the stories by uh-huh. asking these questions. You know what I mean? Because like, like yeah. for me, it's interesting, like how you and then this is just me just asking you those questions. Uh-huh. I can see that this is like this thing underneath all those like. Like, why are you doing this? And for mm-hmm. me, that's so interesting, you mm-hmm. know? And it's so unique to you. I can mm-hmm. see that you're just like, oh, you, your mind is going this kind of like, and then there's so much more that I could kind of like dive in that would be, that would give me so much as like, 
you know, as a curious person. So it's, I uh-huh. guess it's that. It's just mm. like, yeah, it's the curiosity. Curiosity, the curiosity yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, the yeah. inner, just people are just inter- interest me. Yeah, that's you know? such a good thing to have. Natural yeah. curiosity. curiosity. Yeah. 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 Something you kind of lack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about people. <laughs> I, w- I wanted to, speaking of like stories and curiosity, because you're also a f- film director. Yeah. Um, and you write scripts. And that's also, we were talking about how we would not do stand up mm-hmm. because that's so scary in mm-hmm. a way. But I think be, trying to be a film director is also equally as scary. It feels mm. like such a big thing for some reason for me. Like I couldn't, I couldn't imagine myself trying to make a film. Mm. Like it feels too big for me. You know? Mm. How how did how did you uh, decide to do that anyway? Well, can I ask you a question first, Amir? Yeah, go for it. What I mean, writing a story or directing a movie? What what just, is it that feels just, big? Um, just like. If you had to do both, or if, if you just had to, let, let's say Gustavo mm. had a script that he was really happy with, yeah, and he was like, "I need you to direct this." Would you then? Is it is it the responsibility equally large? Yeah, I, I I think it's mostly just the whole thing. Like, let's say I I I want to make a movie, and I start there, and then I start to think about, oh shit, I need cameras, I need people, mm-hmm. I need actors, and doing it from this position where I am, like I'm a nobody. Uh huh. So, so th- just the whole idea is a bit intimidating. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, I don't know why I don't feel the same about music, but making a film, it feels like it's so difficult somehow. But I'm thinking of the Quentin Tarantino type of movies and stuff. I guess mm. <laughs> there are other, you can start somewhere else. Maybe. If you were in charge of a Quentin Tarantino <laughs> style movie, man, yeah, that would and be I a lot use to a take. So- Sony A7 III. That would be a lot film. of uh, responsibility, yeah. 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 Anyway, so how, how did you... Um, does does it scare you at all or how did you decide to do that um why did i decide to do it uh how i just movies is like it's the only uh, art form that i feel that i can tap in, into everything that i like in life mm. in movies you have music mm. you have pictures you have conversation you have stories, you have painting, you have everything, bro. So it's like, it's the, the art form that's just like, kind of crumbles up, you know, everything in one single place. And I don't, it just doesn't, I don't know why it doesn't scare me. It's just, I think the only feeling that my, you know, it's just like writing something and then someone's just kind of like, I think like I've, I've been doing now for like, um, for some time and it's i think i'm over that just like mm. really caring like people like oh that's not you know because i like my stuff so much like i genuinely love my movies you know mm. like yeah. i genuinely like enjoy it so much watching it yeah that's just like it doesn't really um, actually i don't know why i'm even answering what, what was the question again? No, it was, <laughs> I, I don't know it was you know it i was... guess it's, I, just, I, I mean like movies just like i it feels like uh something that like i just was somehow born to do it yeah, is where yeah. I I really like the I haven't thought about it like that before. That take of like, uh, it's 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 the art form that really like encompasses all other art. Like like if you can't make music, you still like appreciate music, and then like if you're making a movie, it's like you still have to think about that a lot. Like mm. Edgar Wright, yeah, is oh a, yeah, that has a lot of like very like. I guess it's uh, part of what he, like like Baby Driver, for instance, yeah. is very like yeah, yeah. almost a music movie you know yeah but yeah. like he's probably a musician as well honestly because he's Home. a mm. very smart guy edgar right oh okay he's probably a musician yeah but uh but but i like that take that it's like the one thing that encompasses everything well tell tell me about your very first movie my very first movie uh-huh Bro, what's the definition of a very first movie the first time that's i touched to a answer. camera and that, I was that's like, for you to answer <laughs> um Damn, my very first movie. Let me see what I consider. Yeah, because I I went on your Instagram, and I looked through to see if you were like had any sexy pictures. Yeah. But uh, I have nothing, bro. <laughs> no, you have you have one that's sexy. Uh, that's the only one. The I'm profile. not like an Instagram person. It's just yeah, but you're from Brazil, man. You have sexy pictures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I know, you that's true. We have two movies on there. You had uh, Hangry Dogs and Motel Marrakesh. That's right. Which the teaser came out last night. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I have him wearing the shirt, bro. The perch shirt. If you guys want to check it out. Is that merch from the... From the movie, yeah. 
her nice. twitch yeah this is one of the characters that wear it it's the teenager oh. so this is her um, her, um, her shirt that she wears around that's cool, cool. yeah so I like that shit yeah so this is like uh, actually wh- which one is this the Mot- motel marrakesh this is the this is the teaser that came out uh last night okay when's this coming out again monday right uh, Sunday or Monday. So Sunday hopefully or Monday. Sunday. So it's going to be available if you guys want to check it out. So It'll yeah. be in the description. Be, no. I'm curious oh, cool. to see it. Is it on YouTube? Yes. Very nice. Yeah. How about the other movie? Is that on YouTube too? Well? Uh, the Hangry Dogs, no, because we were still like kind of trying to, um, not trying, but like we apply for festivals and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then they have like premiere stuff. So we can't really like kind of put it mm-hmm. out there. But it's it's my computer. But mm-hmm. And also like running for festivals. But probably end of the year. Yeah, we're cool. gonna be putting out. But Motor Cash is. Um, and you made that in, in Sweden? Motor Cash, yes. Yeah, shot here, bro. Well, like, how do you start? How did I start? Exactly. That, that's like the question <laughs> yeah. that yeah, like, stops me from, <laughs> yeah, from, yeah, from, yeah. from even trying. Like, okay, but, where do but, I start? But you know, I, I think you'd be good at it. And you know, what you could do is you have a director friend. Mm. If you ever feel that need, man, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah and, but you, and you can be an actor then. We can all have... I can be an actor, as long as it's movie. not porn. <laughs> <laughs> or... Let's do a scene right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's do a scene right now. I <laughs> yeah. right here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you in the... So Richard, you... So you, fu- you fucked up, right? So you, uh, uh-huh, you're supposed yeah. to do the job. Hmm. And it's not your fault. It's a me's fault, right? Obviously, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. And then you have to come and tell me that, you you know, you uh, you didn't deliver the, the job. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And then you kind of like, Italian, okay, go. Let's go. Okay. You kind of like have an like, Italian, American, Italian feeling. Sure. And then you fuck, you don't, you don't got to deliver to me and I'm the boss. Okay. Right? And I, I fucked up a job. You fucked up the job. Yeah. And the me, it's a me is the one that okay. you fucked up. And I'm Italian American? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, boss. I fucked up the job, man. What you do, man? Boss, l- 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 listen, man. It's not, it's, it's not on me, man. I, I'm going to be a little bad. <laughs> it's throwing me up so much. I told you you could be a... It's act. not on me, man. boss. It, it, it was it's the new guy. One new guy. I gave you the job. You're supposed to do the job and you come over here boss, saying... Boss, I know, boss. Boss, I'm sorry. Hey, Tony, don't you fuck interrupt me, Tony, all right? Tony, uh, my name's Tony. <laughs> Vinny, uh, listen, bro, you know me. I would never do anything to ruin the business. Hey, you, you, I was having my... D- <laughs> so I just <laughs> look at your face. <laughs> good job, guys. At, at, I at love first, that. At that first, was good, at first, man. At first, I wanted my character to not implica- uh, implicate Emir. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to take the fall for it. Yeah. yeah. But then that I was, realized I wasn't even sure if I was part of the scene. I, yeah, I, I was like, I, I was expecting you to say something. I was like, Wait. yeah, but yeah, I was I like, did, am I, I am I in the other room at the moment or what? <laughs> I supposed to come in at some point. Hey, uh, I was the one who fucked up. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm Tony. <laughs> but instead, Tony, I, Tony, instead Tony, I, yeah, Tony. it was more. It was more true to me to sell you out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I love that. Yeah. I hope that becomes a movie one day. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, but 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 take take me through the process of making Well Tell Mary Cash. Like really, like Amir said, it's like. Yeah. How'd you Zero start, idea right? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but I guess it's like everything else. You just got to do it at home and, and, you know, you got to do it and like kind of um, figure out along the way. Uh-huh. That's not like the formula, the recipe for it. Mm. Everyone does their own way. I do my way and uh, my way is just like coming up to people and say, what's up? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Want to make yeah. a movie, dog? Yeah. yeah. I, uh, my assistant director, Jody, I met mm. in, um, I was in your creative group. It was another creative group. Mm-hmm. The yeah, competitor. but like people just meet, meeting people like that and then like, you know, and tell them like, I make a movie, you know, and they're like, oh, you make a movie. I was like, yeah, what'd you do? You know, I'm looking to get into some art. I was like, okay, I need an assistant director. Do you want to be in a movie with me? Help me out. Mm. Yeah. And that was the case of Jody. Shout out to her. Incredible, talented girl and to everyone else who well helping me put together the teaser. Yeah. But just going like that, going up to people and you meet people. And uh, I mean, my actors, I got, there's a Swedish um, website that you can go to actors and I auditioned every single one of them. Nice. And I went through the process of like kind of having a script. So basically, all right. So do you want to know, like, I'll go like uh, roughly because the process, like, it's long. I've done like a lot of this. It's like very long. But like, you know, I I have a script, a piece of the script. 
and uh, I sit down with them and I read with them, you know, and uh, and if I find the actor next day, I bring the actor in and I uh, have the actor reading with another actor. And um, and sometimes I just look for um, that thing. Mm -hmm. You know, when in music, like the you jam and then that kind of like you hit that note together and then you're like, ooh. Mm -hmm. You're looking for that groove. <laughs> ooh. That face exactly. You well. know, yeah. really? like yeah, that, yeah. you know, yeah. that you find that for me, it's like in that actor or in that cameraman. For me, it's like someone I want to be around with. Mm. Mm. Sometimes more important than. No, I think it's like it's a mixture. So the person yeah. got to be able to deliver my the melody of my lines as well, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's like. And if they don't, if they don't, uh, know what it is that your melody is, yeah. do you tell them like, deliver it like this, please, <laughs> or is it like, find your own way? And if you don't, then I know you're not right. Mm. Mm. I feel like, um, damn, good question, bro. I feel it's it's a it's a mixture. It's like me somehow trying to kind of guide them, mm. but not telling them what to do, mm -hmm. because uh, I feel like um, as an actor, or as a, you don't want to be or everything else in life, you don't want to be like being bossing around. Uh -huh. If someone, because I feel like if I find someone that's just right for the job, it makes my job easier. Yeah, because I just let them fly. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Mm. So you can see like birds in fucking um, cages. They're not happy, bro. But soon you let them, those bitches going to fly <laughs> fucking, you know, everywhere. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, I feel like it's just, for me, it's like, I was telling me about that in my podcast, um, Gus and Friends. You guys can check yeah, that yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. We'll also it's in the description, obviously. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, my job as a director is to learn how not to be a director. Mm -hmm. It should find a connection that I can genuinely you know, ask you what's going on in your mind. Because like Ami said, and it's like the record is such a like huge kind of like tag on top of it. It's just like mm. you're the director. It's your vision. You wrote it and so on. Mm. Yeah, but at the same time, I need you to be in this with me, you know, win this together, you know. Mm. So for me, it's just like the process of finding the core, yeah. not of the actor, but like of that, that person of the, the human side that I can just like, you know, man, uh, you know, when you just kind of like sit back and you just think about how your life is and that tear just kind of like wants to come out, but you can't let it out because there's something stopping you. Yeah, that feeling, you know, like you've got to uh, be able to mm -hmm. tell someone like that sometimes, you know, yeah. so mm -hmm. just be real sometimes and sometimes be able to goof around. Mm -hmm. So you just find the, the humor inside of them. Yeah, you know? yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. So, so once you have your actors, how do you do film crew? Like, oh, do you have people you know that like, or do you do the filming on your own? And mm. like, no, I, I had like a cameraman, uh, focus puller. I had the whole, whole deal. Yeah. yeah. I mean, nice. it, again, I met some guys on Bumble. Nice. Yeah, I know. Do you guys know that you can meet people on Bumble? But yeah, like not on the. It's called, but it's called like BFF or something. Right? Yeah, but yeah, like yeah, you have like a professional. A um, There's also, yeah, I didn't know oh, that. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I met my um, SFX guy over there. Mm. Just me and people around, bro. As you guys know, I fucking talk to everyone. Yeah. I, I saw those uh, people sitting out there. I was like, fuck, it would be so nice to go up there and just <laughs> fucking say, guys, how are you doing today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> just see them talking. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, yeah. he's smoking a cigarette. I just love watching people. And I, I, th to I think them. we're getting to the, the key of it all. Mm. I guess it's just to talk to people. That's how you've been doing it. Just how I've been doing it my, like... my whole life, bro. Just like talking mm. to people. Be because, because you told me, if I remember it right, the the whole the Hotel, Mar Motel Marrakesh, you shot it like during one week. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. You just gather a bunch of people in a house <laughs> for a week and you did it all. <laughs> That's right. We all spent like uh, 15 people in one, like 15 in total, but I think we were 13 in the house. Yeah. Mm. Where we like was the on uh, the motel, and we we have a BTS footage as well yeah. of the whole. We had the guy doing the BTS footage, and uh -huh. you have me screaming on the fucking roof like pest, and like you have the whole <laughs> kind of emotion behind yeah, the it. whole spectrum. Because it was like uh, it was the most beautiful and stressful and uh, connecting experience ever that you all like therefore go, you know. Mm. And for me, it's like it comes down to this: you write mm. down. And then you show it to people and people are there for you. People are there with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like 
there's just so much stuff, man, emotions and everything, you know. So yeah, we spent a week there, and it was uh, I miss those guys so much, man. Yeah. Because it becomes like a family, you know. But at the same time, the making movies is also like it's a very um, lonely mm -hmm. process. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because it's just me sitting in my room and going through my thoughts and like trying to get this story somewhere to be able to gather those people because be, otherwise you can't. Mm. I would just gather those people to hang out for a week. They'll be like, well, bro, <laughs> yeah. fuck talking about? I can't hang out. I can't see your face for another fucking day. <laughs> you know, like yeah, yeah. you got to have like a purpose and a goal and like, and also making them believe. I think the, the, um, all of, all of this, what I took, it's just also like not only create a um, appealing story to people, but also like believe in it and make mm. people believe in it. Mm. You know, which which you did because you managed to gather thirteen people for yeah, a week. Yeah, man. In a house. Yeah. So yeah. um shout out to them. Those guys are just incredible and um which is very grateful to share the experience with them because it was it's a you were just like being in this environment and everyone was just kinda like just wanting to be there and create. It was yeah. just so beautiful, man. Yeah. And that's cool. That's cool. And the crazy part was just like again, we were just like a week there and they didn't know each other. They, everyone knew nobody there because, like, maybe some people that, like, you know, that had, they had the uh, connections, like, because I had some people from school as well mm. in Paris, and then they knew each other, but nobody knew each other at all. It was all, like, through me. Yeah, people yeah, People got yeah. together there. And uh, one day, i never forget this, we were going through the footage at the end of the night because that's the thing that we do as well as part of the process, going through the footage and see that if you got everything that you needed. Yeah. And there was a silence, and they were watching the um, the footage. And all of a sudden, all I hear is just like in the um, living room, people laughing, mm -hmm. like genuine laughters. Mm. And I was like, "Wow, that's so so beautiful." That they didn't know each other, but you know, they were there, and mm. then they were like joking with each other, yeah. and yeah. just like they were bonding uh, over there. You know, so there's that's a real something. genuine connection with everybody there. Yeah, that's nice. Because it's a, it's a, it's almost like. I don't mean this literally, but it's almost like being in a war together. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, but yeah. it's that feeling. Yeah, 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 yeah like, man. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah like, absolutely. Like, oh, yeah, like like even in like ten years from now, those people might be like, "Oh, that guy." Like, yeah, I actually did a like we did we spent an entire week in this house with this guy who was like really mad at us the entire time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but that that's a that's a real phenomenon. Like like when I used to work at the movie theater when I was studying, sometimes there would be these shitty like days where you would have to work until like 3 a.m or 3 30 mm. and it would be a lot to do and everything but at the end of the night would that would always be the fun part because because you've been through so much shit during the day and that at the end of the day you're just kind of decompressing and venting mm. and talking and just having fun and i don't know i don't know why that why it works like that like if you go through something difficult after that you're able to like bond and have like better conversations fun conversations mm. yeah you just share such an intense experience together i feel but what about yeah. for you guys like you i mean you share this podcast you share you guys share <laughs> i don't even know if you guys are the same person it's like for me it's weird you know this we kind of relationship money. you two have yeah. <laughs> but like in the money. music for example like <laughs> No, how is how is in the music that? like you know? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, like, I got stuck in the money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the music, for example, how is it for both of you? Like, how is it like for you, Richard? Like, what is it that it made you spend time with him? For example, you know, like what is what is it about music that you feel the, like, oh wow? The money, <laughs> it's definitely the money for me, man. It's coming uh, soon. Emir <laughs> swishes me five thousand every month. Yeah, to hang that's, out with him. That's great, man. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's expensive, but I yeah, play piano. Out. Do you need somebody? Yeah, yeah. I'll rock the piano real good. Yeah, two oh, thousand. Does that piano? work? Like, nah, I, I know you play the Godfather theme. That's it. <laughs> that's all you need. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, the the phenomenon of me and Amir is hard to explain. It's like <laughs> he. Uh, it, it's just like at this point, he and I have been like uh, since like at least. Like second year, maybe first year, it took us a while to get like mm. really acquainted. But it's like second year of high school where we just like, like all of a sudden we were just like every single day talking and and uh, mm. I, I, either hanging out or talking like all over, like text conversations. Yeah. <sighs> Skype. I think I think I think I think I think 
uh, our love for like one band, Red Hot Chili Peppers, is mm. really what like made us. Wow. Yeah. Fuck. Let's go. You had you yeah, said the red red hot red chili peppers. Yeah. Yes. You're. I mean, you're. <laughs> yeah. You're. What's it called? Uh, Latin. Can you? I can't say Latin. But you're. But you're. Latino. You're Latino. Latino. Yeah. And all Latinos love red chili peppers. Is that true? That's. I think. It, uh, it, I think that might be a it looks, stereotype. It looks that way when they play there. Because there, there shows in like I think Brazil, particularly Brazil, yeah. is like the craziest audience. Mm. Oh wow! They fucking love it, and they love fucking love metal. Oh wow! Mm. I mean, I grew up with Brazilian funk, mm. and I like mean, Fifty Cent. Music is a huge <laughs> thing. In, yeah, in yeah. South I started South. listening to them last week, bro. I didn't know them until last week. Really? Really? Yeah, something like that. And then I was yeah. like, I've heard them like um, in in the movies and stuff. Uh-huh. But when I listen to California Dreaming, bro. Mm. Oh my, uh, I want to build a boat. Okay, I want to do some weird shit. I'm like, what is this? And uh, I was like, this is uh, kind of fun. Oh, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, 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 but they're but they're they're really great. And I think uh, all I wanted to do at one point was like was play drums. Mm. So you play the drums? I play. In I, the, I, I, I try. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> he does. He does. And then and then, okay. and then and then and but then Amir and another guy Tobias, they really. We're really into Red Hot Chili Peppers, and then mm. every week they would be like, "We want to play this song next," mm. and then I would, I would listen to this song, and then I would find like, "Oh, I actually, really, oh, I love this," mm. and mm. then like the next week it's like, "Oh, we want to play this now." So we were yeah. just like playing every single song in their discography, mm. and oh, wow. then we started to really hang out like mm. a lot, a lot, man. yeah. Wow. And then yeah. we just I don't know. I think it's uh, I I, I think it's nice. Right, I think yeah. it's, it's been nice. It's nice. Yeah. nice. Yeah, no, but it's having that one common thing to like bond over. Yeah, I think uh, it's as simple as that. And for some reason, it happened to be the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, but uh-huh. come on, know. everyone can make love to you know to that. You can that, make love to that. To it's beautiful, music. man. Those yeah. guys like. I bet one of those guys were writing it while he was making love, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure. In someone's back. He was writing it, and I you know, like <laughs> well, he was like, "This is be a whole a second, you know." Sure he got some like, ideas while he was doing it. Yeah, yeah right. Ooh, yeah, yeah. 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 It reminds me of the ocean. Or something. Yeah, and then he yeah. busted a full nut, and then yeah. he had an idea for some, oh, like, that's how it came up with the chorus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cal- uh, if you really this California, like you don't, ca- you know yeah, that, like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> The climax, <laughs> that was just like, that's why he came with it, bro. Yeah, yeah. You I, know? I, I wanted to, um, you because you told me that you only work one day a week at the moment. Yeah. Isn't that great? One day a week. What is it? What is it you do? I yeah. do a restaurant. Cool. I'm a, uh, like a waiter. But this, Which but, one? Yeah. Which one? Yeah. It's in Yadet. Yeah, that, oh, that's a nice place. Yeah, it's a, it's a, nice, it's a nice restaurant. Like, uh, it's called, uh, I don't think I'm... I should say. Why well, yeah, you don't have to? That, you don't have, I mean, you don't have to say. Yeah, I mean, like just because it's the brand and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I, but but what what I wanted to get to is like you have a particular reason for doing that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just I just like to um, just work enough just to make money to pay my rent and be able to write. Mm. <laughs> That's it. You yeah, know, and yeah. just be with my my thoughts. You know, mm. so like this week, you guys are the only like people that I know that I'm seeing this week. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen people that I know for eight days now. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not like, because I just, it just comes so much when I'm by myself. And I feel like we are so disconnected from our true human, mm-hmm. you know? So mm. me being by myself, I can just tap into that so deeply. Mm. And I can just, you know, fish the the most interesting things that i have inside myself you know mm-hmm. like when i write and when i like you know it just comes everything yeah and i'm mm-hmm. just like not listening to music just being you know so mm-hmm. so i just one day i work a week and then the other just kind of fucking ponder on life bro <laughs> you yeah. Know? That's awesome. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i i, I like know? that approach because for me I, i'm stuck in this like monday to friday like that's that's how you should live like you need to work five days a week and you have a weekend off you know? yeah and you have the oh. weekend off but but yeah, i like the way that you've sort of um not conformed to that you, you 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 took control of that and did it your own way yeah mm-hmm. uh, just so that you can have time to do what you want to do which which is to be alone maybe and connect with yourself and write and stuff like that i i think it's cool mm-hmm. yeah no I, for me it's just like i want to be able to be like 
because people are so busy. We were talking about that. People are just so busy, you know, mm-hmm. like, and I think, I think that's because it's just so, um, people don't have a choice. Yeah. People it's almost choice, like they right? don't, they do, but they think they don't have a choice. And mm. that's why they like, because mm. if you think about it, why do you need that extra 3000 crown in your bank account? Why? Oh, because I need to buy a new phone. Do you need a new phone? Mm-hmm. Do you need a new car? Do mm. you need to go like, um, I don't know, whatever people use money yeah, for. Yeah. I don't need money for like, I genuinely just need for my apartment and for my food. That's uh-huh. all. Yeah. Because whatever else I need, I have with my friends. Mm. I have with the people that I talk. Mm. They're random strangers. I don't like to call them strangers. I call them brothers and sisters uh-huh. that I have out there <laughs> yeah, that yeah, I yeah. talk to. That's all I need, you know? So uh-huh. um, for me, it's like, yeah, once a week, <laughs> it pays my bills. That's all, mm. you know? And I, I just, I, for me, it's like, I want to live life slow because once you don't, you're just walking from Monday to Friday in a place that you don't like, that you fucking hate it. Mm. All you want to do is for time to pass as fast as possible to get to the weekend that you can be yourself. Yeah. Mm. So that's for me, it's like, bro, what? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. I can't, I can't process that. Uh-huh. It can, it can't really go into my mind and be like, I can't, I love working what I, where I work. Mm-hmm. Once a week. Uh, More yeah. than that, if I need, <laughs> yeah, I'll go. But like, you know, for me, once a week is great. I go there, I see my colleagues, we have a good time. They need a break from me as well. So it's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I think they can why. also only work with you for one <laughs> yeah, week. Yeah, you know, so. But yeah, man, just just being sometimes is just so good. Mm-hmm. Just like, just mm. like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, just hanging out. Yeah. yeah. Not having like uh, to have to worry about. Is this gonna be a good podcast? Just mm. being sometimes, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. or not having to like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm not putting you like uh, you. I just took that as an example, but you know, it's no, just like mm. sometimes just being man and uh-huh. not having to stress out about stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm an entertainer first, so that's always what I'm gonna worry about. <laughs> yeah, is this entertaining? <laughs> yeah, you know? I didn't yeah. put you in on spot like that, brother. <laughs> no, no, you know? don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's go. How, how long do we have this place for, Amir? Do you know? We have it at least. Uh, at least until 12 but it, he wasn't sure if he was gonna come in at 12 yeah so because it is 12 now yeah damn 12 now how yeah. long will we be rocking this we, we've I been rocking it for 46 us. minutes oh, wow. i yeah. think 47 but I, I think it's okay for us to stay and then if he comes we'll just okay we we'll just they just yeah. join us yeah, yeah. and then we'll he like, just he us. Could join us yeah he's, yeah. yeah he's the french yeah. guy that i told right, him so you know french so yeah throw him some some french you know i wanted to ask you something deep Okay, hit me. I love it. Well, while you were talking about all that, I had the, uh, I, had, I had this, uh, like curiosity. Like, are you happy? Mm, good question. Because it sounds like you're trying your best to like do everything that makes you as happy as possible. Like, mm. are you happy? We mentioned we talked about a little bit about that in my podcast as well. Mm. They were like, he said like, uh, I mean, he mentioned like it feels like you're setting your life for you to be happy or to like setting your life to be good in life, you know? Mm. And I feel like, am I happy? Are you happy? I feel I am. I don't think it's about being happy though. Mm -hmm. I think it's about. um, Life's not about being happy. I don't think it's about being happy. It's more about like uh, trying to, discover what happiness what happiness is Mm -hmm. because Mm. for me it's like yeah i have like happy moments but at the same time i have you know bad moments and Uh i don't feel that that you know it's very difficult to say like i'm happy or not so it's like yeah something i have to go home and think about but like or not you know because Mm -hmm. for me it's just like i live my life like that and Mm. then one day i'm happy great if another day i'm sad it is what it is mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. because i think when you ask me that question there's a there's a bad connotation it's just just saying like no i'm, I'm sad today uh-huh. you know or you know what i mean like that's uh-huh. like you gotta be happy but for me it's like no sometimes i i need to be sad too mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. go through life to understand you know the the, the feeling of sadness why i'm feeling this way or mm-hmm. why what is this you know mm-hmm. so for me it's just like Right now, I feel like, right now, I can tell you how I feel. I feel excited uh-huh. and That's uh, good. and joyful because it's like, it's been, it's nice to connect with you guys like that, uh-huh. you know? Mm. But, um, but yeah, are you happy? Sometimes. 
Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. I, w- I wish I was more happy. You wish you were more happy? Sure, why not? What is it that you feel like it, that you um, that doesn't make you happy? What is it that you think that's just like... A mirror. <laughs> it's me. I mean, Honestly. You're, you're a piece of shit, <laughs> It's bro. this podcast. You're just <laughs> fucking awful, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, no, but I, th- I think it is the, the concept of like... That there are five days in a week where you have to dedicate your time to something that you don't want to do. Oh, man. And then two mm. weeks. You don't have to do that, Richard. Kind of, kind of. Do I'm, you, though? Yeah, kind of. Is it like a must? Yeah, I mean, I have, I have loans. You have loans? Uh-huh. Yeah, for, yeah. for like an apartment, right? Yeah, you got to pay loans, man. I know, dog. <laughs> but what if you could find another way to make money? I know you have music and I assume that's what you want to do and so on. But is there any other way that you could... Because if you say, for me, I believe, no, there isn't. Mm-hmm. Yes, there isn't. But if you say, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I, uh, I could try my hand at acting. porn. <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah. We saw oh, the same guy. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In a sort of like, uh, no, but, no, but, no, but really, like uh, porn. <laughs> 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 no, yeah. but honestly, no, honestly, I, I think, I think. I think, <laughs> you are, no, I think I think it is uh, so much easier said than done. Like yeah. no, just like you don't have to do that. It's like some, but sometimes, sometimes unfortunately, that's how like infrastructure is built here. Like you have to do these things and la 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 la. Mm. And once you get into this, you're like, oh, you got to pay insurance for that shit now as well. And so it's like you do have to have like a thing that is you do every like five days a week. And yeah. I think I think we mentioned this earlier. No, not earlier. Sorry, on a d- previous episode, like. I think, like, there is a little bit of, like, something admirable in living that way as well. Like, mm-hmm. like just going to a job that you don't particular, particularly like, and you're just, like, waiting for it to be over. But then you make, like, uh, you meet good colleagues, and you have good friends there that you can also be in that war with. Mm-hmm. And then at, at the end of the day, you're, you, like, like you said, you yeah. so you talk to them, and you're like, yeah. like, can this day be over? You know what I mean? And then yeah. you go home. And then I think that's where that I think that's where the struggle is. Like you get home and it's like, now what do I do? I think some people are like, I'm gonna dedicate time to doing this mm. side thing so I can make it my main thing. That'll mm. make me happy. Mm. Yeah. But otherwise it's like I just had a shit day. Like I wanna watch Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So, but, but 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 there but there is something admirable in that like daily grind of life, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think I think there's just no right or wrong. Just, just no you, right or wrong. You just gotta yeah. find your yeah, own way of doing it and obviously Mm -hmm. a lot of people are doing it that way but it's also about figuring out what you prioritize like some people are okay with going to their job monday to friday that they don't really love because they don't really put an emphasis on their work being a source of happiness you know Uh it's just like something they do Mm. but uh i'm definitely like always thinking of doing something that that you do like quitting your job quitting my job (laughs) (laughs) yeah but but like always like uh at least like for the last few years maybe uh, like figuring out like how what i want to do in life in general like because i have this job and like it's fine but i'm not particularly passionate about it and just lately i've just been feeling way more like i need to do something else or at least try and mm-hmm. see what happens so uh yeah no real question just uh, that's those are my thoughts on do that. you feel yeah. do you feel inspired I, f- I feel inspired by this guy no <laughs> Yeah, but I feel inspired by you guys. I, I feel mean, inspired by you. By you I feel well. inspired yeah. by all of you guys. Yeah. I don't feel so inspired by Amir, but you. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. You, I haven't, I haven't like uh, get you know die enough, to, like enough to be like, oh, I'm very much like inspired by you. But like Amir, for example, like I, you inspire me just by like trying that, you know, because you know mm. how many like people that just like can't actually try or mm. like just like you know just really struggle, mm. and being able to try, man, like you know, it's just a huge. It's a huge trait, you yeah. know. And mm-hmm. I have a gift for you guys. You have a gift. I have a gift. Really? A gift? It's it's like a, a symbolic gift that I try. Shall I bring it now? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, why, I'll be I'll why? be right back. I totally Amazing. forgot about it. It's just a little thing that I felt like I want to make for you guys. Okay, this is I'm, be I'm, I'm excited. I demand of yeah. every guest from now on. Yeah, thank this you for setting, thank you for setting the standard. This is setting the bar so high for yeah. future. Oh, no, for no. future guests. No, but if ne- future guests don't bring Two, anything, two hundred dollars uh, uh, every time. Hey, I would love that. Huh? Okay, 
I'm going to show the camera first. Okay, for the audio listeners, okay. Gustavo went off camera to bring something that he, I think he made, and yeah. he's showing the camera now. Yeah. And our eyes are closed. Are you covering your eyes with your hands too? No. Uh, well, I'm wearing a hat, so I'm yeah. sort of just like pulling it down and also covering. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. Wait, wait. Don't don't open it. No, no, you open no, it, Richard? No, no, you I didn't. Fuck. I didn't. Okay. I didn't. It's something I would are, do, are, but are I you, haven't. I'm going to say... Are you going to be naked when we open <laughs> our... <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> and that would be... The, the give would be my dick. That would be funny. Uh, <laughs> no, you guys can gift. open it. Oh. Whoa. It's a record. That's so cool. Yeah, it's a single. Because you guys are the only ones. The are one you, and only. Are did, you kidding me? That's, that's so, amazing. Yeah, so here's the thing. Uh, I was watching you guys' podcast, and I was like... Uh, you guys don't have anything up here that kind of represents the 43 podcast. No. I was like, oh, I'm going to make something that's just like, you know. This guy. That's just like. That's uh, that Gustavo that's shit. That's that Gustavo yeah. shit. Yeah. So there you Thank go. You it's not man. wrapped because I finished, I think, last night or the yeah. night before. You know, if I, if I, oh, that's so cool. Wow. Yeah, that's something I made for yeah, you guys. Thank you, man. No worries, man. My pleasure. The 43 podcast. Gift. Yeah. Who's, who's a singer? I see a tiger here and there's like a singer. Yeah. This is, you know, this story about that singer. Here's the deal, though. I yeah. didn't know you in that. I, I wanted the singer to be like Amir. Like, because I thought she looked like Amir. But after I was like, <laughs> she doesn't really. Can I see? Yeah. Actually, a little bit. Yeah. A little and bit. And then I had yeah. like a Yugoslavian. Really? <laughs> a Yugoslavian flag. And yeah. we put on top. I was like, was it Montenegro part of Yugoslavia? No. I yeah, it was, it was. It was. Okay. Yeah. okay. And then the, I was like, what well, I'm going to represent Richard. And I found this kind of like... Um, <laughs> it's very fucked up and i was like no i can't do that I it was like it, right? just a random asian guy and i don't even yeah, know yeah, if you're yeah. asian like or if you like had some asian you know i was uh -huh. like no nah, i'm not fucking doing that <laughs> well, <laughs> so well, it sounds well, racist it as like, fuck you googled like asian, asian guy no, asian i just cut and then once you put and i was like nah i'm just gonna put that one would that be fucked up if no, i put not like for me. A, not for me really i mean i understand i mean i understand the thought process yeah I mean, yeah it's good that you did no. it. yeah <laughs> but it's just for just for just for like a, a completely different person might be. I wouldn't have. Yeah, yeah. I would have. I would have thought it was funny. No, yeah. but here's the thing. Uh, I was watching the podcast while I was making this, uh -huh. and you was a episode that you guys talking about like, uh, um, and this Asian woman that was like, uh, you guys talking about racism yeah, and yeah, so yeah. on, uh -huh. mm. and you said like uh, this woman that came to Sweden and like mm -hmm. some people call her like a fucking. No horrible things, yeah, yeah. and then I was about to glue the, <laughs> <laughs> the Asian guy. I was like, nah, that's save too this for much. another yeah, podcast. No, yeah, like, yeah, save yeah, for yeah, another yeah. podcast, you know. Yeah, yeah. but um, you know, it's just because also it's like it's also like a Brazilian way of like you know we joke about each other how we we are, and, but it's also like in Europe that's not you know it's just a, yeah, yeah. And I didn't know you, so that's why. No, I, I, no, I would have I would have appreciated it honestly. Yeah. I think I, I, that would have been But but I mean that's how that's how you I think establish. I, I guess at least yeah. in our like, there here we go, like in uh, in in an international schooling system especially it's like you're so you're so multicultural it's yeah. like it's so easy to make fun of people and like 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 I think that's how you bond as uh, yeah. as somebody who's like international at least make, like, make fun of you some make fun of yeah, no, that, seriously right? that's the yeah. best way I th I think that's yeah. the only way almost to be I, able to I, joke yeah, yeah. with each other well, I I don't want to limit it to international honestly but no, no, in but in general it's but great, in general I think yeah. like I think every group is like oh you're blah, 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 yeah. Blah. And to a certain like, limit, of course. Like, oh, your mom does this for a living. And yeah, like, yeah oh, well, no, your mom doesn't. was his, at my house last yeah, yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of high school you've been I, going to, dog? It was tough. It was tough. <laughs> Shit. I mean, yeah. Yeah. No, no, but, but that's how you connect with people. Uh, well, that, well, that's how I, my closest friends in the world, mm. I can say anything to. Mm. Like I, I made a really yeah. awful joke about one of my friends mm. the other day, and we laughed like so much. Yeah, and I won't repeat it here because it's really it's bad. Too awful. Ah, okay. It's really bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's the thing as well. It's like because in uh, in our society, it's like as an ethnicity, it becomes such a like a no no thing to joke about, mm. uh, like where you come from and how you mm. look and things like that. And so for me, it's just like kind of like. I don't know, taking that into consideration, you know, mm -hmm. because not everyone that can take it in a way and be like, oh, that's 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 funny that you actually didn't. Yeah. That you were looking for like, a, you know, and then you didn't find it just. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's it can be risky. It, yeah, it was risky. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, uh, I don't know. And then in the end, it's like you don't want to like, you know, harm people. It wasn't mm -hmm. because I was scared of what people going to think about me. I was genuinely thinking about you. It's like uh -huh. what you going to think. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. I was like, yeah, no. I think that's a good 
thing to have in your head. Yeah. Like, mm. oh, I don't want to like, uh, I don't want to go too far and offend someone. But, uh, mm. but, I think there's very little you could say to me to actually offend me. Really. Very little. Uh, I. I I, I, I've, I've been. No. I've, I'm, I, 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 bro. I'm. I'm like. <laughs> he knows me a little bit. Uh-huh. I'm like. I'm not taking any. Like. <laughs> I'm not saying anything because I'm. I'm. I'm like. Yeah. 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 I, I've exposed my personality on the internet for so long. Mm. I. I've that I've seen so many people say bad shit about me that like mm. I. I at this point I really really don't care. You have some thick skin yeah. now. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Thick skin, huh? Yeah. How do you find inspiration otherwise if it's not from a mirror? If you're gonna make something like, can you go home right now? If I'm like, can you write a script about something? Will you be able to do it? Or do you? I could, but do you like, need to find something like. It's almost like um, so writing for me is it's not it's once I sit down and write it's not me, mm. Mm. it's someone else. Mm-hmm. I'm just channeling whatever that person wants to say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just sitting there and just like, it genuinely doesn't feel it's me because sometimes when I step back and then I go back to like this other Gustavo that is out here, you know, mm. I was like, what the, f-? like, <laughs> what the uh-huh. fuck is that? I don't, sometimes I can't even believe that I can write it again yeah. because it's just so, because once I sit down, it feels like I got into a temple and I can it's like poetry is running and like, you know, and it's just everything that I just usually don't do in life. Mm-hmm. And that is the time as well that I get to meditate, I think, like mm. with the writing. So I can um, really, yeah, just tap into this like deepest, yeah, deepest sides of my I don't even know what it is, you mm. know. So, yes, I could. But like, it depends. Like, um, yeah, I mean, if it, like it's always like, you know inspiration it comes that's like you're doing dishes sometimes it just pops in my head and i'll go mm, there and write, yeah yeah you know but um, there's other ways like i look into like um you were talking about i don't know we're talking about quentin tarantino off yeah, yeah yeah or yeah. like i, really, I, I love him you know yeah. so he's a very inspiring person i listen to like interviews mm. of him that mm. he's just like for me it's just i love enjoying someone passionate about movies yeah hearing I someone don't feel talk about their passion is very very inspiring right yeah, yeah. Because and you don't feel very, you yeah. don't feel alone. Yeah. You're like, oh, uh-huh. this guy's in the fucking uh-huh. in this in this team with me, and yeah. uh, you know yeah. he loves, it and that's what matters. It's not about mm. writing something that you're gonna change the world, but writing something that's gonna change you. Mm. Boom, that's yeah. poetry you know? right there. That's so, good shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, it's yeah. like I think we're so focused on what's gonna put out there, but you gotta focus on what's what's inside. Yeah, because mm-hmm. as soon as you change what's inside you'll be able to change what's out there, I guess. Because mm-hmm. the main thing that you got to focus on, I feel, um, it's yourself. Because like that, you can give back. Because if you're in the mindset that it's just like so stressful and uh, so stressed and that you can't really be with the person, you mm-hmm. can't look at that person in the eye and be like, hey, man, I love you. Mm. I appreciate you today. Mm. That person not going to feel that love if you just say, hey, I love you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I feel like it's it's inside, you know. So um, so I guess yeah, I'm rambling too much. I don't even know what else I'm it's, saying. But it doesn't so matter good. because we in the forty three podcast, <laughs> yeah, and you yeah. fucking nothing just tune matters. in. Yeah, nothing goes. matters in the forty three podcast. Yeah. Well, it's like Michael Jackson said: st- start with the man in the mirror. Very Damn. Nice. Very nice. Was that Billie Jean? <laughs> huh? No, Abby. Is it the song the called "Man in the Mirror"? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm starting right with the man, man in the, the mirror. mirror. Um, um, that's um, um, asking him to change his uh, you know like, I was I will say something over him alright go for it Hit whatever us. he did to those children yes whatever it was whatever if it was, was if it was or if it wasn't alright you believe in what you believe but his music was good though <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, you know even though like if some I'm pretty sure the people that believe that he did they still rock Michael Jackson bro yeah because he's good it's dog. too groovy Hey, yeah, I mean, horrible I mean, people probably, can make great art. Yeah, there are probably people who condemn him. Yeah. But yeah. as soon as you hear it, that... You forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> yeah. Then you, then you don't really oh, think about good. those. Yeah, yeah, you forget everything, <laughs> bro. Yeah. All I mean, you same, think is I mean, that. you know who belongs... And who is in jail and who belongs there? Who? R. Kelly. R. Kelly, R. Yeah. Kelly belongs in jail. He's yeah. there. Who's that? He is in jail, isn't he? He is there. R. R. Kelly is in jail. Yeah, yeah. R. Kelly, like yeah. this R&B... Yeah, like a um, uh, fly singer. What's that? That fly song. 
Uh, I believe I can fly. I believe yeah, I, I believe can fly. I can fly. Yeah. 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 But I don't think he, he believes he can fly playing. anymore, though. <laughs> yeah. Those, he got some bangers. <laughs> he's man. in the cage. He's, yeah. he's that bird in the jail, yeah, not yeah, in the yeah, cage, yeah, you yeah, know? Exactly. You ain't flying, <laughs> dog. <laughs> fly too ain't fucking hard. <laughs> He flew, yeah, he flew too far. Yeah, yeah. You, flew, you flew in another motherfucking bird's cage, you yeah. know what I mean? And then he pissed all over them as well. Yeah. So and that shit ain't right. Up. You can't do yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. It's about separating the artist from the art, however. I think and that, and that I think, is like, I think, I think, I think it's a gift to be able to do that. Mm. To be like, yeah. like, yeah, I don't like him, fuck him. But like this song is, I, I'm still going to listen to the song. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, I, and I like that. Yeah. Otherwise, there's a lot of great music that you can't listen to anymore. Yeah. Like, I don't you can't listen to a single song of the Rolling Stones. Yeah. Like rock music, you know. Yeah. You can't listen to it. Yeah, because, I, because the Rolling Stones. Yeah. They, they were like, they had like, sex with like sex with teenage like girls. Teenage girls, like they were, their yeah. groupies were like 15. I think that some of their songs are about like 15 year old girls. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I I haven't listened to Rolling Stones enough to. Mm. Mm -hmm. hear that i guess yeah, yeah. Wow, i mean uh, there's also a good like joke but you can't use pythagoras's theorem you if can't you, use the pythagoras's theorem you know a mm. a squared yeah plus b squared equals c squared yeah the triangle shit why because yeah. i mean um all those like mathematicians back in the day yeah like uh they're like founding fathers of math you know they're mm. fucking little boys Fuck. Yeah, I mean, they were doing all kinds of fucked up shit to yeah. little kids. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. I didn't know that, man. That's crazy. That is yeah. crazy. So if you if you fuck with Pythagoras... Yeah, you can't do math. <laughs> you can't do that shit, you man. You can't do math You anymore. can do math or math? Math. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, math or <laughs> math. It's like, what? Yeah, math, math, math. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. You shouldn't well, do math either. I was like, you know? You really shouldn't do math either. Yeah. No, no. The guy who created math, do you know if he also like made love to boys and stuff? made love to boys that sounds so fucking yeah. bad i don't even know how that <laughs> yeah. shit came out of my mouth yeah like you don't that. really make love to who came up yeah. with meth actually i wonder if he got addicted i'm sure to meth i'm too. sure it was like, i'm sure it's like like, like, yeah. like some like all other drugs you know it was like a medicine thing first <laughs> yeah yeah and then they were like wait this is fucking people up like, yeah <laughs> we yeah. can't do this shit anymore yeah. yeah like quaaludes were a uh, medicine for something but then uh people then, then you discover that when you take a quaalude and you like fight the urge to sleep, mm. that's what that makes you. It makes you like sleep, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you fight the urge to sleep, you get like an incredible high. Oh, and, oh, wow. and, and, and then they had to recall all the medicine. Mm. It, was, it was like a drug back in you know the yeah. 80s, I would say yeah. 70s, wow. maybe 60s. I don't know. Experimental like, times. And then like now you can't get them because yeah, it's illegal. True. You can't make them yeah. anymore. What was the craziest drug you guys ever known? If you don't, you don't have to talk about anything, but yeah, life, done. man. <laughs> life Let's is go. my drug. Life, Actually, dog. you know yeah. what? That's that's fair. I think I'm having that right now. <laughs> you know, like that, that's what all the former drug addicts say. Yeah, they yeah, say yeah. that they're high is just living life. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I mean, drugs are so illegal in Sweden that like, if I wanted to do a crazy drug, I personally have no fucking clue how to do it, how yeah. to get it. Yeah, it's so illegal here. Yeah, that, like, yeah. uh, yeah, yeah. Even even weed is like something you can go to jail for yeah here i guess so i don't know yeah actually. yeah if you're in position yeah uh, they're very like strict about weed here for which is so reason. crazy about like a scandinavian country yeah. being Sweden. so open with everything yeah especially uh how much we love alcohol mm. that like we can't smoke weed yeah because yeah. that's like that's too far that's too far too yeah. far that's yeah. way too much yeah man. yeah like you're gonna get you're gonna hurt someone when you're yeah on the couch eating chips yeah, yeah exactly you so know you, you, it's weird that, like alcohol that's just uh scientifically proven that it makes people more aggressive yeah you know and then a lot of domestic violence is related to like you know uh, yeah, yeah of course yeah, yeah, yeah. so sure. they, they're like mm -hmm. yeah you can <laughs> you can you can beat the shit off your wife but don't don't yeah. fucking you know hug people if you're high on don't smoke because yeah, 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 yeah. you're gonna be uh -huh. too loving you know uh -huh. like uh -huh. fuck that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no i don't know i we haven't done any crazy drugs Never no. ever. Mm. No. Just weed? Just weed. Oh, okay. I think me too. I've never done anything crazy. Yeah. I never I, I don't know, I never it never interested me. Yeah. Like I never felt the need to try it out. I agree. I think that's probably cultural here as well. Like yeah. I think in America, like there's so many pharmaceutical things that you can go to and like you want like 
like you get prescribed a thing like Xanax or like mm. uh, that's crazy, right? Yeah, that's the one that they keep you awake for. A lot yeah. of kids are no, taking it. I think, right? I think I think that knocks you out. Knocks you out. And then there's and then there's another Adderall is. Adderall, uh, that's Adderall the one. Yeah, yeah, that like kids are doing in university, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like, Study. Uh, like you can't go to. Uh, doctor in sweden be like hey man like give me adderall yeah, and yeah. like no <laughs> i'm not gonna do that <laughs> nope yeah uh, uh, in america as long as you're paying yeah wow you know Cash is king. and and on the topic of, of drugs uh, i i see this off camera but like how do you meet uh i guess like in terms of love life like how do you get how do you get that without uh because you don't drink no in sweden i i, I don't know like like mm. everyone drinks here yeah. it's like so like how do, how do you meet that type of yeah like, relationship without without drinking alcohol i think by not looking for it oh you know it yeah. just comes like everything mm. else it's just like mm. i'm not right now i'm just not like looking for it you know yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like the most beautiful moments that i had with the people in my life it was just like moments that i genuinely didn't plan to yeah you know and every time that i planned something it was like yeah i'm going out and i'm just like like back in the days i used to drink probably like well five years ago or something like that mm. i was just always just so not connected with people mm. and even the people that were just like seeing and so on but now i'm just genuinely connected with people i don't want to just go out there and just like hey i'm just gonna go look f for women uh -huh. or, you know it's just for me this like yeah it doesn't, it doesn't it, really it doesn't really kind of like uh, click mm. so well with what i what i am wh where i'm at right now you know uh -huh. so um, i just don't go out there looking for it. if it happens it happens you know like but yeah. for me it's just like and i just not right now i'm not looking for it so mm. it's like yeah you know I, I i was out with some people on that topic i was out with some people uh the other week i think and there were two guys and they were getting ready to leave for some reason. I don't know why. But then there was a girl in our group who was like, oh, my friends are coming soon. And they're going to be here in 30 minutes. Uh, and, and then they were like, um, like are they, are like, they wi wi you? women? Or, and, yeah. Did you say that? <laughs> no, I, I didn't. But they, the, ah, these okay. two guys. Sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sure, Bakaru. I mean, here. It was these two guys, not sure. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's always the friend, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, my friend, he yeah, does yeah. this. So how does it affect your body when you do crack? <laughs> exactly my friend does it Doesn't he wants matter. to know <laughs> and then, and then um, uh, as soon as they found out that they were women and that they were single suddenly they were willing to stay yeah uh, but it's but I agree like uh, like it, that that's not a good way to decide whether whether or not you should stay or go like uh -huh. if you're out but it's not bad I mean that's if not, you want to no, stay and want to meet people I'm not saying that you no, should no no, you know? I, no, no me, me neither but it's like it's, it's like you can't have fun Unless women, single women, are gonna be there, mm -hmm. that's kind of their. It's a very young thing as well. I think. But I tot I totally get it. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying like it would. The best would be that you could enjoy yourself still without mm. the that. presence of ladies. The presence of ladies. Of hooking up. Yeah. Of hooking up. I have I have a very interesting thing to ask you guys. Yeah. Because for me, it's like it's being a journey. Also, it's just like not really kind of like listening to myself. It's like actually right now I don't really feel it mm. but also acknowledge that also like i en enjoy women and i find them beautiful mm -hmm. and also if i feel like i want to stay because i want to talk to a woman that's okay too yeah for yeah, sure you know what i mean so it's like it's almost this battle that's just like shall i do this but like can i do this you know mm -hmm. so it's like how, how is that for you guys like mm. kind of listen for, to those two voices like do you guys have that at all I've been in a relationship for almost six years. Six years. Uh huh. Damn. He's one of those. So I don't have it at all. That's how old I am. <laughs> yeah. 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 Damn. You're six yeah. years old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but I. So I don't have it at all. But back when I was a uh, a single guy, then mm. yeah, I would. Always, uh, but that was also like. Wait, that was I was 22, I guess, when I was most recently single. Mm. So, but then, but then I'm 22 years old, and like the only thing on my mind is like, well, like what Listen. girl is gonna fuck me like yeah. uh, can i find anyone who's willing yeah you to know? make love yeah yeah, make yeah that beautiful love. And like like i don't like I, I don't care about like uh like being in a relationship like i just want to like i mm. want to like talk to a and like yeah. meet a girl but uh the but, california dream in love yeah 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 man <laughs> yeah i mean I, and, and then 
the Californication. I think, I think, <laughs> <laughs> Californication. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, Amir especially has like uh, uh, <laughs> dragged me through to a lot of places to go see a girl. And oh, but really? I, but the thing is, I think Amir. that's but the thing is, I think that's fun. Ah, like, okay. Like, Just see it. It's it's such a like super bad moment. You know the movie Super Bad. Yeah, with the um, Jonas Hill, right? Yeah, yeah, Jonah Hill and my, Michael John Sarah Hill, yeah. and yeah, 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 Christopher Montz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it, it's such a it, it it would remind me of that. Mm. Yeah. And when I think back on like on like the things that he would make me do is like. <laughs> Is like it's fun. It's oh, like, back it's then like, I thought now. No, 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 back no, then, no that, that, that was just like that's. I was like that's 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 funny because you go out to watch him kind of like yeah. do his moves. But that's but that's but that's yeah. what I would do anyway. It would, yeah. be, it would be like it would be like he he's gonna like oh we're like oh this girl's over here and like we're gonna go and then like like okay I'll go and then like he like as soon as we get there Amir's talking to the girl and then now I'm now in this place where I'm like I don't know anybody here and like Amir's with his <laughs> with the girl so that he. I love this. I love uh, awkward, awkward moments. I love not it. always. Not always. No, but it's also fun. It's yeah. also like okay, yeah. like like I'm I'm like Michael Sarah now, and I'm like <laughs> you're in a movie. You're in a comedy movie. Yeah, but exactly. Yeah. That's how I look back on it yeah. now. Yeah. It's, like, yeah, it's like it's like the those times were fun. Yeah, those that times. Bleeping. Is that me talking too loud? But no, no, it me. happens every now and then. But okay. it's fine. No, but that yeah, we we had some fun in our younger days. Um, there's something about, to be honest, though, that sexual tension that can elevate the night. It yeah, can take yeah. you to places. Like, it would mm -hmm. take us to a lot of places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, it needs to be there, I think. Yeah. Um, the little yeah. blood rush. It's, yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> a little blood needs to yeah, rush. Yeah, yeah, you know what Blood's, I mean? You gotta flow, dog. Blood's gotta flow sometimes, yeah. man. It's gotta, gotta go the, somewhere. It's gotta go somewhere. You gotta, <laughs> yeah, you gotta let the, that bitch hit the, you know, the brain. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You feel not? Uh, you're fucking going down. You're yeah, a dead yeah. man, you know? <laughs> and, and if you're two, if you're two, like, normal guys, yeah. like, that's a good thing to have. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. what are we doing tonight? Like, how yeah. do we, how do we, like, have a good night tonight? <laughs> Yeah, it's about, about, but if you're too, if you're like a group of like crazy fucking crazy Americans, you know, yeah, yeah. and you're like, that's a bad thing because yeah. now these guys are like, oh, we're like they're hunting for women. Yeah, yeah. whereas like we were like just like normal innocent yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah, we're like, just, yeah. How do we? And then like we go to a place like, oh, we're too nervous to talk to. <laughs> yeah. I remember, I remember, sometimes we would sit like at a table and a group of women or people would be next to us. And we would be like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna talk this to it, them now. Oh, wow. Okay, are you ready? I'm gonna, ready? I'm gonna talk to them now. And then, and then, and then something each other, <laughs> each other, like, 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 like just pulling each other up, like, well, are you gonna do it? No, yeah, yeah but it was rushed. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then, and then something would happen to those girls. Yeah, and like they, like one of them would like get up to go for a drink, and they're like, no, it's like. Yeah, it's too late. It's too late. No, no, next no, 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 never mind. Never mind, bro. Yeah, never mind. We always like, have next year. Yeah. Or maybe they leave. You know, you're like, ah, yeah. oh, fuck them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> like, I always find an excuse. Ah, oh, man, she's talking to her dad right now. I'm pretty sure exactly. Her dad yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, she's on her phone. Probably her boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah bro. she probably has a boyfriend. Yeah. But then uh, we got to a point where Amir was like, no hesitation, and that wasn't as fun. Because Amir would yeah. just be no like, hesitation. Then Amir would just be like, "Oh, that's a girl." I'm like, okay, like she's gonna get. Yeah, talked but to. Damn, but now, yeah, no, but not anymore. I'm, back, I'm back to have being the a, back a coward. Come over, I, I don't know. I don't yeah, know and, and that that's, guy the Amir, was. that's the Amir. That's I miss. The crazy. I miss, yeah, I miss mm. my crazy coward Amir. Yeah, now now I'm just a coward. I can't do it anymore. He's back now. He said. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I I I did have a friend when I was younger. Uh, when I would go out with him, he he would he would bring a toothbrush. No, just in case he would hook up. Yeah, and he never hooked up. <laughs> to brush his teeth? It never, it never happened. Yeah, in, brush... in case he in case he was gonna spend the night yeah. at some girl's place. <laughs> he would have... <laughs> of all things with this guy that's so sad oh, it, it never happened it never, <laughs> that's so at least, funny at least when I was with, with oh him it never God, happened like, I'm gonna hook up tonight but I'm also gonna brush my teeth oh, that's so funny that's like just in case I'm, I didn't sleep someone so <laughs> I need to brush my teeth the next morning <laughs> Like what's the priority there? Like are co are condoms the priority or is toothbrush the priority? <laughs> yeah. Like you brought toothbrush. That's it's so like, oh, funny, fuck, bro. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> that is that's so funny. <laughs> guys, guys can be funny, man. Oh, In their bro, early twenties. We can yeah. do some witch. We, it's <laughs> it's funny you saying that because like for me it's like you know growing up in Brazil I also saw, I think that's. Is that your phone? It's my alarm for something. But wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we're going to wait. We're going to wait. We don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> no worries.
No worries. For the audio listeners, Gustavo's alarm went off. For something. We don't know what. Dead air. Dead air. I do love this. I do love this gift that I'm holding up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, it's like a... It's a single. I don't even know like what size that uh, that is. You know, like, does it go in a record it player? Says, it uh, says forty five. So this was uh, before forty five. Forty five RPM. That's why I, uh, that was my next my next point. I was gonna say. Yeah, uh, but like it's funny. I w- what I was about to say is like um, in uh, in Brazil, I just saw the wild shit, like things like that. Mm-hmm. They would take such a like um, part a part like a big chunk of my life. You know, just kind of like going up to girls and so on. But at the same time, we have an extra layer that's just Brazil. Uh-huh. And yeah. everything over there, it's, just, it's extra. Yeah, yeah. Right? So it's funny saying that because I remember this guy that, that we... Um, he had just got out of jail. Mm. and um, Already there, that's very Brazilian. Yeah. Very Brazilian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he so, just got out of jail. He just got out of jail, right? And then his whole relationship was just like with guys and mm. being in jail, which I have no idea what it is, right? So his whole idea of like uh, coming up to like a, a woman... It's different, mm. right? Because he, you know, he's been and, in jail, right? Mm-hmm. He's been in jail for a long time. And I remember this guy, he was just like, and then he grew up with us. And at some point, I remember he just disappeared. And then people say, like, Yeah, he's in jail. Mm. It's like, oh, shit. And then he mm. comes back and he's just this wild motherfucker, you know, being in jail for 10 years. Yeah. And uh, we go to a nightclub with him. He, um, oh, this is so funny. He, he has in his pocket, he has nothing, no condoms, nothing, no toothbrush, but he has like <laughs> no a toothbrush, no, no toothbrush, toothbrush but he hell. has a, a perfume. Uh, oh. And then he was dancing, right? Mm-hmm. And like all of a sudden, like he felt like he was sweating so much, he would take it out, <laughs> he just hit one and put it back and keep hitting it. I was like, bro, this is just like. That, that is, is so crazy, you know, like <laughs> that, that like guy weird. can like, and yeah. also like to also like, you know, attract the women that uh, he didn't win, yeah. which is not bad, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. but the fact that he had on his pocket, just uh-huh. like, you know, yeah, Hugo Boss or whatever it was, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. A, a replica of a Hugo Boss and then he was just like, <laughs> as soon yeah. as the, 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 the beat just came, he was like, this is the moment. He's just like, psst. <laughs> and fucking you know what i mean keep so, going yeah yeah, yeah. Um, guys we we do weird shit man and yeah. women too like i'm pretty sure women have their own thing they have their you own know? thing yeah but we fucked up and then we are fucking yeah we know? get a lot of shit but at the end of the day we just want to have fun just have fun boys yeah. just want to have fun let's yeah. go that came in my mind as well <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Really, mo- really. most most of the time most of yeah, the time yeah. oh man is there anything else we want to hit before we uh did you go, I want to ask you, did you go through all those questions? No, I think I went with the first question <laughs> and then I didn't look at this anymore. <laughs> That's what usually happens. Oh, it's a lot of notes, though. Good yeah, man. yeah, man. I, yeah. I, I Do you want to go just through like, them quickly? Questions. Let me see what you got. I'm interested. No, we did go through some. I, like, I wrote down the work in one day a week. We talked about <clears throat> what keeps you going in life and everything. Um, love. Stand Next up. One. Love. What keeps you... I don't know, man. The only one I haven't asked you is when do you go to bed? Um, last night I went to bed six in the morning, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. and then you got up at like nine o'clock. Yeah, she so got like in. a nice three hour. <laughs> yeah, I never nice. wake up this early, bro. I'm a lay bird. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, uh, yeah. I yeah. sleep until like the Lord touch my neck and be like, "Hey, son, time to wake up." Get up, time to wake up. Yeah. 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 yeah, you know. Yeah, Any yeah. final words for anybody who's listening? Just in general, something that you'd like to tell the world. Tell the world. Put a message out officially. Put a message out officially. Um, we're missing, we're missing love, and we're missing connection. But it's not because, and it's not, it's nobody else's fault. It's just, you know, this world that we live in that we're going through right now with our phones and everything. You know, I guess just look up. You know, instead of looking down at your phone and like, you know, say hi to somebody. Mm. Mm. And um, and talk to some, you know. We will make your day, you know. Um, yeah, mm. that's, that's a good message. It and and it's funny because uh, when I met you outside of here, I was listening to music, and mm. and I, I didn't notice that you were standing next to me. Yeah, <laughs> so dancing. I was, I was doing exactly <laughs> dancing. Case in point, like I was literally looking down at my phone, at, and yeah. then and then I saw eventually that you were dancing in front of me. So. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So nice. look yeah. up. Yeah, look up, man. Yeah, look up. People are beautiful. You are beautiful. 
so let's make love. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. I'm joking. I'm joking. We couldn't. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> if you want to. If it yeah. happens. His Instagram will be in the description. If yeah. You want to DM. Make love. Yeah. Some Latino. Trequetones, cabrón. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, I think that's it for the episode. Thank you for yeah. coming, Gus. Uh, check out his podcast. We're gonna put that in the link. The, the movies, movies too. The teaser, the teaser, the the teaser the which teaser. is out, guys. Go check it out and support. If you want to donate, we really appreciate. You know, yeah. it's a long journey, and uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. And it was great chatting with you as always. Thank Most. you so much, guys. You guys are fantastic, and I support your guys' stuff. So I hope you guys like it. We, we love it. Like, we fucking love it. Can't wait to see where you guys are gonna take this. Yeah. So uh, keep doing this. Love you guys, and uh, yeah. All right. Hope to see you guys yeah. next time. Peace. Obrigado. Obrigado. Let's go. Ciao.